Holy shit, it's been a while. Obi-Wan 1998 here, and this is Titanic Honor and Glory. A little bit about this game. This is an indie developer game. Uh, what they've been doing is they've been trying to basically recreate the RMS Titanic. That's how she would have looked in 1912. Uh, this is just a demo, so they haven't got the entire ship yet. Currently, we are docked in Southampton days before her uh, sea trials. We'll just take a little tour. So we are currently on D-Deck in the first class uh, waiting room tor heading towards the first class dining saloon. And then of course we've got the forward grand staircase. We will head up to C deck. To the purser's office. And even on the wreck, these stands here are still in more or less intact. And of course there's cabins along the way here. Again, we can't get to everything as we continue to go up the first grand, first class grand staircase. To B deck. Ele the first class elevators. Again, we've got some notices. And I believe we can, I can't remember if we can go up to A deck. We can't go up to A deck. Or can't go all the way, but you can partially see the first class promenade. And what we will do, we will go back down to B deck. And we will head aft. State rooms upon state rooms. So the idea that the developers are trying to do here is the end game would like to have the entire ship built and you can either do a tour like this or I think they're also planning to do a, a sink simulator as well as what would have happened in real time on April in uh, 2019 or 1912. Pick up the pace a bit. Now this is the aft grand staircase. Still on B deck. This is the Cafe Prison. So this is where the first class uh, travelers could have a cup of coffee. And they kind of made it look like you're having coffee on the streets of Paris. And as we head towards, this is the Alicarte restaurant. Now in first class, your meals at the first class salon were included with your fare. But if you want to eat in the a la carte, that was over and above. So we will head down. To C deck. Again, more state rooms.
barbershop, first class barbershop. We will continue to head forward. <clears throat> now on the wreck, the forward grand staircase is completely gone. It's just a hole. It's how most of the divers can uh, enter the wreck. Aft grand staircase is completely missing. It's just void. Get the pace a bit. We are back at the pursers. We will go down a couple more flights of stairs. So we're back at the first class dining salon reception area. Down to E deck. Now towards here would be some more first class and second class staterooms. Now through here is a quarter known as Scotland Yard. It spanned the entire length of the ship. We will go down there in a minute, but we'll go down one more flight. Down to F deck. And into the first class Turkish bath. Now the Turkish bath on the wreck is actually for being in down the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean is in quite good condition. And then we can't quite get in there, but there's the first class swimming pool. So the developers have gone to a lot of trouble and research trying to get this as authentic as possible. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of direct evidence. They have to base stuff picture that's based off pictures of the sister ships as well as other ships of the time. So we are now on Scotland Yard or Scotland Row. To my right is staterooms for uh, crew. And this is also was accessible to third class as we now head to the third class dining saloon. So this is where Steer could have their meals. We will head back up as we head aft or to the back of the boat. There's one of the watertight doors. And this would be where the cold store could be located for uh, the meals and such. Storekeepers, stairs to F deck. Now, as we head forward in this demo, they've actually unlocked a boiler room. So we will head down to the boiler rooms. But one of the well, this is a uh, bathroom for crew still being put together. This may have this is probably what the ship would have looked like day probably the day before sea trials. And as we go through this door, we are crew only. Uh, I'm not sure which boiler room this is though. Oh, 
possibly, let's see here. Plumber store. Oh, well, let's head down to the boiler rooms. Cat walks down to the boilers. Hitting my head on a pipe. So we head down. Come on. Not gonna lie, my computer does not like this game. It is somewhat laggy. But that's not the game, that's my computer. I have a very old computer. So there's the side, you can see the curvature of the hull. And here are the boilers in front of me, and just behind me would be the coal bunkers. Let's head on up. Oh, figure my way back up. back to Scotland Row and I can't go back all the way up the ventilation shaft because this is probably this is where a funnel would go up to so we will continue to head on forward and this is third class area so this is uh, the forward hatch uh, I can't remember what number hatch so full disclosure I'm not an expert uh, but this is probably, this is where the third class would kind of hang out, dance, socialize. And we'll head back to first class. So we've pretty much hit most of the ship. Um, this is still in its demo. This is the last demo that they agreed to a, uh, release until full release of the game. Uh, they have released one game based off our HM, HM, HSMS Britannic, the uh, sister ship of Titanic. That was a hospital ship. Uh, Britannic Empress of the Mediterranean. It's available. That game's available on Steam. They have not released Honor and Glory in its full release yet. But I'm really looking forward to when it does come out because they have done an amazing job just it's almost like you're here. <clears throat> and as we conclude, we will head back to the first class entrance and we'll look out to the harbor again. And with that, I will leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the Titanic, and we will see you next time.